Hello everyone, welcome to the WPT Improve plugin video tutorial. Before exploring the plugin features, let me show you a few examples of the team showcase that can be created using the WPT Improve plugin. You can create a beautiful carousel layout, multi row carousel with Ajax Live filter option, grid layout with Ajax member search field, isotope layout. List layout, mosaic layout, inline layout, table layout, and thumbnail page layout with the WPT Impro plugin. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called WPT Impro. When you click on it, it will take you to the All Member page. Click Add New to create a new member and fill out the page with the necessary information. Now click publish to add the member and repeat the process to add as many members as you want. Let's go back to the all member page again and you can order the members by doing drag and drop like this. Next one is team generator. Here you will find the list of your created shortcode. If you want to make a copy any of your existing shortcode then simply click on the duplicate button. Now click add new team and give it a title. Below that you can select a layout preset from 8 different options. And there, carousel, grid, isotope, list, mosaic, inline, table, and thumbnail pager. And then filter the members by newest, groups, specific, and exclude. Select newest to display the most recently added members in the team showcase. Select groups to display specific group of members. Select specific filter to choose particular member to display in the team showcase. And with the exclude filter, you can omit any member that you don't want to display in the team showcase. Below that, you will find several configuration tabs. Initially, you will be in the general settings. In the general settings, you can show or hide the team section title, set column, limit, order by, order, Ajax Live filter, Ajax member search, and preloader option. Let's see how Ajax Live filter and Ajax member search looks like in the live preview. So click show preview. And you can see this is the Ajax member search field and this is the Ajax live filter field. It's showing in the carousel layout. Next one is display options. Here you can set a member content position from below content, above content, right content, left content and overlay content. Check the box to make all the members to the same height as the tallest one. Configure the border, border radius, background and padding from here. Show or hide the meta fields that you want to display in the team showcase and that you don't want to display in the team showcase. Suppose you want to show all the fields in the team showcase, then show them all and update the preview to see the changes. As you can see, all the member informations are showing in the live preview. You can order the member meta fields by doing drag and drop like this. Configure the overlay icon, overlay icon style, icon color, icon overlay color and short bio limit from here. Show or hide the read more button and then you can configure the skill bar settings and social icon settings. You can set custom color to the social icons as well. Next one is image settings. Here you will find all the image related properties like you can show or hide the member photo or image. You can set image size and if you wish you can set custom size as well. Configure image shape, border, box shadow, background. Padding, inner padding, image flip, zoom, and image mode effect from here. So let's see how the image shape rounded looks like in the light preview. So this is how the rounded image shape looks like. If you want to enable image flip, then enable it from here, then update the preview, and you can see this is how the image flip works. Next one is carousel controls. Here you will find all the carousel control related properties. You can select a carousel mode from a standard and ticker. So let's see how the ticker mode looks like. This is the team showcase showing in a ticker carousel. Configure the autoplay, autoplay speed, stop on hover, loop, auto hide and row velo. If you want to create a multi row carousel then use these properties to create a multi row carousel. So let me show you an example actually, when you set row value to 2 and update the preview, you will see 
this is a multi-row carousel showing in the live preview. Configure the navigation and pagination related properties like you can configure navigation, navigation position, navigation color, navigation border, pagination dots, dots color, dynamic pagination and members per slide. So let's see how the dynamic pagination looks like in the live preview. So this is the dynamic pagination is showing in the live preview. Below that you will find a few properties to be enabled or disabled. Next one is member detail settings. Here you will find the options to set link to detail page, detail page link type from model or single page, model type, model layout from four different options, model background, member name clickable and member detail selection field. So let's see how the model layout classic model looks like in the live preview. So if you update the preview and click on a member photo then you can see this is how the classic model looks like. Let's set it to sliding left and update the preview and you can see it is showing differently. When you select detail page link type as single page you will find a few other related properties to be configured in the plugin settings menu. When you click on this it will take you to this page. So I will explain it to you later in the video. Next one is typography settings. Here you can configure the typography properties for general and model separately. Select the font properties like font family, font style, text alignment, font size, line height, letter spacing, font color, margin, for the team section title, member name, member position, member description, member additional information, member skills value. Finally, let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block. Now publish the page and view it. So you can see this is how the WP Team Showcase looks like in the front end. Now let's go back to the shortcode again and you will find a few related properties for the different layout presets. Like when you select grid, you will find a few pagination related properties at the bottom of the page. Like you can show or hide the pagination, you can set pagination type, member to show per page, alignment and pagination color. So let's see how the Ajax number pagination looks like in the live preview. So as you can see, this is how the Ajax number pagination looks like in the live preview. When you select isotope, you will find a new configuration tab added named as filter settings. When you click on it, you will find a few other related properties. You can select a filter type from button or drop down. So let's see how the button filter looks like. So this is the button filter. And if I select a drop down and update the preview, you will see the filter type is showing as drop down. You can create an isotope with multiple live filtering by groups, position and location. So check those all and update the preview and you can see this is how the multiple life filtering will be displayed in your team showcase. Configure the button color, button alignment and all button from here. Now let's go to the plugin settings menu. Here you can see the license activation page appears to the first. This is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. Below that in the advanced settings you will find the options to enable or disable all the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Write custom CSS and JS here to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is link settings. Check those box to link member email and phone number. Rename the WP Team Pro plugin menus from here. Those are the responsive breakpoints. And this is the single page settings I have talked earlier. So you can select a layout for member single page from two different options. You can also set typography properties for the member single page from here. Enable or disable the plugin accessibility from here. Next one is tools menu. Using the tools menu you can export and import all the members and the shortcuts you have created using the plugin. So that's all about the WP Team Pro plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your team showcase even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.